Hi, Dave Snyder here. It is December the 11th, 2012. So I made this video earlier and I went to encode it and got an error after like 20 minutes of uh, sitting here talking. But I, I think I can re redo it a little bit better maybe after watch. watch. I was able to preview it, but I couldn't encode it. So I don't know what the hell happened there. Anyways, pretty important thing here. Yesterday I uploaded a video about uh, the weather, these two weather pattern or the weather pattern that was in Pacific here that showed two circles that don't show two circles today, but this will be the third day in a row I posted a video about this uh, this oh, this alignment right here. And I, like I said, it program put this alignment this this crater down. This is just mare oriental reversed. Here we go. It's reversed over the earth, and it said like it says at placement because it put it, it put it down there. Okay, so the weather is totally different again today. The third day in a row totally different weather and we'll just go through it over here first we can see these clouds here fade them in and out a little bit and just look at the curves I mean it's it's totally different weather and you see it's still following the pattern right you need a big screen to see this I'm using a 42 inch screen you're gonna need a big screen if you don't have a big screen and you can't and you can't see it highly recommend you need to get a you need to get a big screen get on Craigslist or something eBay or something find one of those you know, older Sony's like I. That's what I did. I got a, a Sony plasma screen for 80 bucks. Works like a charm. I love it. Love it. Cause my I couldn't. I was using a 20 20 inch, and man, I was having. You know, it's really hard to hard to focus in on such small details when you're using something like that. So, anyways, like let's just get right into this. What I did is the weather fits there today. You can see. Look at this. You can see all the angles are all good, and and I noticed this pattern up here. And and you seen that. In my, if you watched the video I put out yesterday, let me turn off this crater. Okay, so I, I put Indonesia and uh, the Marianas Trench in those weather patterns. That I, that you, you'll have to watch the video to see because I don't have that weather pattern's totally changed and I can't repeat it. It's, it's, so the video is the only record I have of that. So, anyways, that other one is about here. Is that? No, it's not, it's this one. Okay, so here we go. This is the weather. This is where I showed yesterday, where I lined that up to. Here's the weather today. This is live streaming weather right now. This weather is right now. Okay, and this picture is one I saved from over there and overlaid here ye yesterday in that other video. I didn't. I I did it while I made the, bi the first video. I made. I I did it while I was making the video. So it was like going to be as new to me as it was to you, but it didn't work out. The first video didn't work out. So, anyways, here it is again, and the weather still fits it. It's just a lot different today than it was yesterday. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is the weather pattern that we, we need to look at right here, right now. Because you see how it fits. See the line right here? It goes a little bit outside that line, but that, I think that's not a big deal. Because it's not going to fit perfect. It's a, it's a big area. So this part, not important. What I, what I want to show really is, is this area up here. See that weather right there? That's in, in, in North America, United States mostly, this part is. And if you look, I turn this weather off. Okay, this is the picture I overlaid, right? And oh, i got to turn the weather back on, don't I? Okay, so if I fade the weather out a little bit, you can see that that weather, it, of course I'm not going to get an accurate overlay here because it's on the edge, and it, you can see that that's not going to work. I can only get the center of the picture on an alignment. But you can see India right there, and there's the Himalayas right there, right? Himalayas, China, and all that. Okay, so I, I noticed that weather pattern was up there, right? So what I did is I turned off this picture, saved a picture of this weather, saved a picture of it, and then I turned off this weather and went over here to this area by India, right? And I laid that picture down, and I hope it's uh, not, I guess maybe it's not that one. Uh oh. Huh. What the hell happened? Okay, I, I guess I should show. No, that's I think that's a different thing that right there. That it, hold on a minute. We'll get there. Okay, it's up here. There it is. Okay, so this is the weather from over there in North America. And it, it fits just beautifully. I mean, it's. Okay, let me turn it over this way so you can see. We can look at it at, like, like we're looking at North America here. Okay. So here's here's California. Here's Baja, or you know, the Gulf of California, Baja, right there. Okay, now look at that fit. 
I want you to look at this part right here. I mean, it, it's it's see if I if I get in too close, it's harder to see, but it, it absolutely goes there, and you know it does. Look at this like this shape here, but that there, okay. So it shows it shows something. You have you, I don't know about you, but I've seen countless documentaries about the Earth, the Grand, the Grand Canyon episodes, um, the Rock Rocky Mountain episodes, where they you know explain it. They always say they always talk about how there used to be mountains there as high as the Himalayas, right? Yeah, I, I know if you if anybody that's watched documentaries like enough like I, I mean I've watched a lot of them. Everyone I always I watch anyone I can find actually. So any ones that are out there, I've probably seen them, and uh, and more than once. And anyways, they they always say that that there used to be mountains there as high as the the modern day Himalayas. Okay, that's because it there must the Himalayas must have been there because look, this is this is the same pattern. This this there's no way I I don't see any other way you're gonna get that same pattern unless they were over the top of each other. You know what I mean? Oh, I got a text. Hold on, I'm gonna pause for a second. Be right back. Okay, so what I was saying was, that I don't see how you can get the same pattern in two continents. And they always say that. You, you know damn well they know that the Himalayas were there. They they have no way to explain it without without saying that the, without admitting that the moon has hit the earth. I'll show you right now. I, I, I did this earlier. Like I said, this is like a take two video, but that that goes there. That goes together. You can you could actually take the rest of North America if you wanted to. And continue adding the pieces. You could go down here to South America. South America might have been down here because you know we know how they were. Okay, you can, it, but it might not have been. It, it, there's another. It might may not have been too because another thing I want to show is uh, almost forgot. I showed already in my videos that this is this the Colorado Plateau. You know, like the mile high here in Colorado. This is this is a huge. There used to be a huge volcano right here, right? I mean, it's that's what it shows. This is a volcano right here. This is a volcano opening, full of sand. But that's used to be a volcano right there. This this big hole, and right there, and it, it just falls right into place with this with the Colorado Plateau, and Lake Victoria, and Sea of Japan, and that area of Australia. I don't know what to call it, but it's you know it's that area in Australia that I showed in my other videos. All together in the same spot. I can put them all there together, and they will all fit together in the same spot. The land features will match everything. So this is this is the volcano right here. That's it. Big giant volcano. Lake Victoria will go there. Like I said, see if Japan will go here, and you can see the shape of, of you can see in North America. You can see it. I mean, you can see the shape right here. Look, see of Japan. I think it goes down, actually upside down, down this way, out this way. But there it is, right? There's the volcano. Or right here, I guess. Yeah, right here. One of these ones. There you go. How, how big did I have that over there? That doesn't matter. It goes there anyway. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show was I showed you, I just clicked on this thing. Okay, interesting weather at the, at the South Pole today. Very beautiful detail today and they they didn't hide any of it it doesn't look like oh wow I was able to line this up real quick and real good earlier and I, I, I like to do them when I make as I'm making the video you know like like I just I've never done it before and I'm just making the video and it comes up and I just do it all of a sudden out of nowhere and it turns out good I, but it just you know you're gonna I, I did it earlier during the video but the video didn't turn out that good so and I don't know how to edit so I'm, this is this is what we get Okay, so I, I did this. This is overlaid in the Pacific Ocean because I cannot, as I explained before, do an overlay at the at the South Pole or the North Pole because the picture does not overlay there. It squeezes it, twists it, it does all kinds of stuff, deforms it. So I have to take and save the South Pole, overlaid in the Pacific. It has no relation to the Pacific where it is at all. I just dropped it there. It, 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 that's just, this is my canvas, right? Then I overlaid Mare Oriental like I always do, of course. What else am I going to do? Just to show you, there's okay. This is right away. This is where I went for. I, I started with this part right here. See this area here, and I, I line that up with this part of Antarctica right here. See this little? Let me back up a little bit. Right there, it goes like this and, and dips in right there. I, I I figured that was pretty pretty much the same thing. It looks like the same thing to me. Once I did that, I was able to back it up. I just look it over and 
And I looked at this right here, and I said, that's just beautiful. <laughs> look at that. That is just beautiful. You see, I, I hope you can see that. Look at the angle here. See the angle? Watch. Is that, you want to tell me the moon, if you, if, who's going to keep telling me that, you know, the moon doesn't hit the earth? I mean, the God. Why do we have to keep listening to the lies of them telling us that, you know, that, that how things are, plate tectonics creates the continents and the mountains and all this? People, I'm not trying to bullshit you here. I'm just like you. I'm trying to find the truth. That's all I'm doing. I'm not, I have no other reason to do this. Okay, I'm just trying to share it with you. I don't, I don't get anything out of it except for my own satisfaction of knowing the truth. That's it. I don't get nothing from YouTube. I'm not no partner, and I'm, you know, I don't have no advertisements on my channel or nothing. I'm just trying to help solve the same puzzle lots of us are trying to solve. Okay, now, my, mine's a little different. I'm trying to solve. I'm trying to use the Earth itself because it, the Earth is the puzzle. The Earth is the puzzle. Okay, that's the puzzle we need to solve. The Earth and how it was, how it was put together, and how it was taken apart and this is this is it I mean you can see that that is absolutely no way a coincidence not a coincidence no way in hell is that a coincidence so I'm sorry but it's it's you gotta see this it's the the weather showing you right here I mean it's it takes a little practice to see it but you just have to look at the little little things and I mean this angle is not a little thing that is not a little thing there for sure that is not you can see it goes there. So there's Antarctica. That shows how big the moon is. Do you understand that? That shows how big the damn moon is. It, that's Antarctica at the South Pole. It, it, it can't get any smaller because it's at the South Pole. You understand? If it was at the equator, it could stretch out and get bigger. I can understand that. But it's at the, it's at the South Pole. So it's as small as it's going to get. Or as small as it's ever been. So that impact is the right size. It has to be the right size. There it is. That's the size of the moon. That's just the size of that crater. Okay. They say the moon is what 2,300 miles or some ridiculous number. Well, okay. Let me measure this. You know, because you can see it line up in the clouds perfectly. It, it may be a little bit smaller than the cloud than the cloud pattern because it's up above the Earth, but not. It's not going to be that much off that much. There's 3,300 miles right there. And let's 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 just use two reference points instead of just going across from uh, from there. Let's just see. We can get in there. Reference points that we can see for sure are in there. Okay. I'm going to go with the, the tip of the point, and I'm going to go with. I, I can see this crater in the clouds right there. That one's there. We can use something different, I guess, but that's there. Let's see. Just something. I mean, I could even use anything just the, from there to there if I had. If, I mean, it's going to show you. The size, that's the size of the moon. I mean, how could it be any smaller? You see the weather, that weather. I mean, look at, that's the size of Antarctica. I'm going to show you right now. This is the overlay in the Pacific that I put here. And it's probably a little, maybe just a little bit bigger than the actual Antarctica. Just a li little bit. Look at that, just a little bit. I didn't even, wasn't even trying for to go to scale. I just put it down. So you can see it's just a barely bigger. So, I mean, that, I just showed you 33, so maybe it's 3,000 miles across. Just the crater, though. Just the crater. On the moon, Mare Oriental. They say it's, it's, I mean, ridiculous, ridiculous size. So, like I said, this cannot get any smaller. Antarctica is at the South Pole. The poles, at the poles, that's where the continents are contracted. It seems like they are squeezed at the poles. And then at, when they get out to the equator, like we got the big continents at the equator, like Africa and South America. And, and all, I mean, they're all right down there. That's where they're, all the big stretched out continents are. So that's where they possibly would grow but here is not there's no way it could get any smaller no way so that's the size of just that crater on the moon check it yourself I mean I'm just trying to show you this just trying to show you planet X if you think that's good if you really think there's enough evidence to show that that happens or Nibiru or whatever just because you read something that you know people that's that that may be true, but I, look, this this is what it is. You want to know what the, the, all the extinction level events on Earth? What killed the dinosaurs? Well, you, here you go. Our neighbor, the moon. 
And like I said, you can see, you can watch uh, Sailor Moon musicals. I, and I don't, I'm not even embarrassed to say that. It doesn't discredit me whatsoever to even say that. Because I, I know, when I watch them, because I know the moon's hit the earth. I watch those Sailor Moon musicals. Those people that write those, the scripts for those, those musicals know that the moon has, just, they know a lot more than, than we're told. That's for damn sure. I mean, they, they're at least sharing the information with the public in a subtle way by these, using these musicals to, to tell people about this in a way. If you don't get it, then you don't get it. That's, you know, they're just trying to ha tell you to have fun because life is short. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, you watch them and read it. Read the script, the, read the lyrics. It's all trans translated into English, subtitles or whatever. Read it. They talk about the moon destroying humanity and everything all throughout every almost every one of those musicals that, that they have. There's a, there's a bunch of different ones, and almost all of them. They talk about the moon, the white moon destroying humanity in the past and what's going to happen in the future. They talk about the 30th century. And that's that kind of that could be 30th century. Look, the poles are going to flip. I think the poles flip reverse on the Earth, and the moon starts to come back towards the Earth. Because it's, it's not always. It has not always been moving away from the earth, people. There's prints all over the earth. I mean, there are prints all over the earth. And I don't want to make the video any longer. So uh, that's what is that? Did I finish this one up here? Hope so. Yeah, that's yeah, Antarctica. And I brought up the rock structure too. I thought. Yeah, there we go. Rock structure, Antarctica rock structure right here. That's what it looks supposed to look like. That with that without the ice. Okay, and it looks weird right there. I've never seen it fit this way. But there's there's two different ways. It's been hit at, at least twice. I know it has because it fits two different ways. It fits like this, and there's another way that it fits too. But this one right here, we can go look at this crater over here, the oval. And it's right there. Look at that. It just fell into place. I, I didn't even, wasn't even trying to line that up. I was lining up. What was I lining up? This part right here. I see. I can see this this part. I, actually, I had it over the other over Antarctica itself. So let's just look at that. If you back it off, you can see I'm in the right spot. See that? Okay, so I'm in the right spot. So I left it there. You can see the tail, fish tail, everything like that down there. I know I'm in the right spot. So that, I, I just checked that, and then I looked at this, and it just fell right into place right there. That's what am I doing here? Let's see. Right here, the, the oval crater, that one. Right there. Right in place. And then you can see the other ones. You can go through here. And you can see this one up here. See it? There's the edge. It just comes around. It's real subtle. It's there. And that, that happens all day long. Once you get something in place, it just it'll just roll. I mean, it just rolls. And, I, you know... It's, it's. I, I hope everybody on the planet starts to do this and starts looking and to see this because it. That's. I mean, don't you think? I mean, a lot of you may think that the truth should not be told because it's. It's not. You know, it may depress everybody. For you know, I don't know. I don't know what your motive would, or why you would think that. But the truth is always the best thing, whether it's bad truth or whatever. You know. If people knew, maybe maybe there wouldn't be such a population boom of people. I mean, everybody has a right to have do whatever they want, have a big family, whatever. They, I respect that completely. But, I mean, you think about it, it you know, it, it, I don't know. It would change things. I think it would change society a, a lot. But, I mean, it may not be such a bad thing. You know, it, actually, it couldn't be any worse than it is it's actually getting now in America. It couldn't get much worse. I mean, actually, it can get a lot worse. But it really, you know, that's not much you got. I mean, people should expect this this kind of uh, these kind of stories that they tell us. Anyways, you, I mean, you can't just you should never believe just what you hear on TV because the scientists say it. That's ridiculous. I mean, you have, unless you've seen it yourself and you fully understand it by looking at it all yourself, then you should never. You should just take for take it for what they're what it's worth. They're saying it. You have you haven't seen it, so that's you know it's still open. It should still be open in your mind. You should never just go by what they say. They, scientists in in these fields of geology and and uh, lunar science or whatever and all and physics and all that, they all have to. If if this really happened, they're all lying about the the physics, the laws of physics and things like that, because they say this can't happen. 
They say that that cannot happen. They say that a, mo a Mars-sized planet hit the Earth to create, to coalesce and create the moon. That I mean, that is just, and they have to keep, they have to stick to that story. They have to. There's, if they change it, they stab all their people, other people in the back, all their colleagues. They just, they just totally prove wrong. And there's no way that any scientist is going to do that. And I don't think any other, the other scientists would let them do it. I think that they would either, they would do something to get him out, of, to discredit him some way or another, even if it was the truth, which is what hap has happened, which is absolutely what has happened. They, they discredit the truth. Whenever it's told, I mean, any, um, it's just ridiculous. And I'll just end it there. I mean, really, we need to take a look at this. I mean, look at that again. Just take a, one more look at that. That is, look at Mare Oriental, is the whole of Antarctica. Just do it yourself. Reverse the moon, put it on, take Antarctica, put them together. It's not that hard to do. I can do it. You can do it. So, that's it. I mean, I, I'll keep sharing what I, what I find, but if you find, if someone does this and they find something, I mean, please, if you're going to at least share it with me, if you're not going to share it with everybody, I mean, I'd appreciate that. I mean, if you don't want to share it with everybody, that's fine, but, you know, we need to figure this out. I, I, I've seen a lot. I, I mean, anybody that wants to get involved, and I, I got, you know, a couple people that are working on it, but I, I don't, I don't know, I don't look at my comments and stuff. I'm really bad at that. I'm sorry about that. I really am. I'm just, you know, I spend a lot of time doing this as it is. Too much probably. But anyway, that's it. Everybody have a good day. Happy holidays. If I don't make another video before then, I'm sure I will. Alright, so have a good one.